There's a Jewish concept, kavod, that means showing respect and honor. One place you'll find it is in the fifth commandment. Show kavod for, or honor your father and your mother. It doesn't say love, just kavod, show respect. In the real world, giving kavod to our parents and all people in our lives is a tall order. Kavod is not related to how you feel about someone. It's about how you behave. It's more than being polite. It's showing through your actions that you honor them as people, that they are worthy of respect. There's a Hebrew phrase, kol hakavod, that means well done, literally all the respect. Not just good job. You're not just praising someone's behavior, you're saying you're worthy of respect. In most of the world, we are led to believe that respect must be earned. What if, as Judaism teaches, we automatically gave people respect because they have a soul and are inherently worthy of dignity. Kids are constantly giving us the opportunity to teach and model the idea of kavod, the whining. Why do I have to pick up my toys? The sibling rivalry. But he got the green card yesterday. And the testing of limits. You're not the boss of me. Reminding kids to share their views and opinions in a respectful way will help them on their journey to being good people from interactions with teachers, peers, and yes, their parents, practicing treating everyone with respect. You don't always have to like the way someone is playing with you. You don't have to feel loving toward everyone all the time. But Judaism teaches us that you still have to show kavod. And when my children are showing me that they are living this value, it's easy for me to say, kol ha kavod. <laughs>